Have you ever wondered why people behave the way they do? Why sometimes we seem to act against our own best interests? Or why we are so influenced by the actions of others? Welcome to the fascinating and sometimes unsettling world of dark psychology. Opening our list of fascinating insights is the bystander effect, a psychological phenomenon that paints an intriguing yet perplexing picture of human behavior. The bystander effect refers to a social dynamic where individuals are less inclined to offer assistance in emergency situations when others on the scene. It's as if the presence of others dilutes personal responsibility. The more people present at the scene, the less likely it is for any individual to step forward to help. To delve deep into this phenomenon, let's consider a few real-life examples. For instance, the tragic case of Kitty Genovese in 1964 was a significant event that led psychologists to discover this effect. Genovese was attacked in her neighborhood while 38 witnesses reportedly did nothing, which highlighted the chilling implications of the bystander effect in real-life situations. In another instance, the murder of Su Yue in a crowded marketplace in China, despite numerous onlookers, further reinforced the prevalence of this effect. The bystander effect carries far-reaching implications in our society. It underscores the vital need to encourage active involvement and individual responsibility, particularly in emergency situations. It is a call for institutions, from educational settings to legal authorities, to understand and address this phenomenon, thereby fostering a culture of active involvement and empathy over passive observation. Delving deeper, we will address confirmation bias, a psychological phenomenon that captivates our mind's natural inclination to authenticate our pre-existing beliefs. Essentially, it is our predisposition to seek out, interpret and even remember information in a manner that validates our preconceived notions. This often leads us to neglect, overlook or even outright reject evidence that challenges these beliefs. To illustrate, imagine you hold a firm belief that people from a certain city are unfriendly. Every time you come across a person from that city who behaves rudely, you add it to your mental evidence pile, confirming your belief. However, you may unconsciously discount any friendly encounters with individuals from that city, labeling them as exceptions rather than treating them as evidence contradicting your view. Confirmation bias is not confined to trivial matters. It can have far-reaching impacts on our decision-making and relationships. For example, in the realm of business decisions, a leader might favor information that supports their strategy, turning a blind eye to potential pitfalls identified by their team. This can lead to a flawed plan that fails in action, causing financial losses and damaging the leader's credibility. In relationships, confirmation bias can cause us to stereotype or prejudge people based on our past experiences or hearsay, leading to misunderstandings and conflicts. It can prevent us from seeing the true character of a person as we are clouded by our bias. In conclusion, confirmation bias can limit our understanding of the world, bolster harmful stereotypes, and distort our decision-making processes. By recognizing this bias, we can work towards a more balanced and objective view of the world around us. Coming in at number three on our list is the fascinating concept of cognitive dissonance. This is the uneasy sensation we experience when we juggle two or more conflicting or values in our minds. Faced with this internal struggle, we often find ourselves striving to smooth out this inconsistency, even if it means twisting the truth a little. But let's delve deeper into this phenomenon. Cognitive dissonance plays a startlingly impactful role in our daily life and decision-making process. Every day we make choices that reflect our internal belief systems. However, when our actions don't align with these beliefs, we experience cognitive dissonance. This internal conflict can lead to stress, regret and guilt. To alleviate these feelings, we try to adjust our beliefs or perceptions to match our actions, which in turn can significantly influence our future decisions and behaviors. Therefore, the of cognitive dissonance is not just an abstract psychological theory, but a real tangible force affecting our every action and response. The fourth fact plunges us into the topic of obedience to authority, a psychological phenomenon that has significantly influenced the course of human history. The notable experiments by Stanley Milgram serve as a clear illustration of this concept. His groundbreaking study demonstrated the alarming extent to which individuals are willing to obey authority figures, even to the point of causing harm to others. 
The implications of obedience to authority, however, are not limited to just laboratory studies. Throughout history, it has played a pivotal role in numerous societal events. Take the Milgram experiments, for instance, where ordinary people were instructed to administer what they were led to believe were painful electric shocks to others simply because they were told to do so by an authority figure. This shocking demonstration of obedience to authority shows how potentially destructive it can be when left unquestioned. In today's world, obedience to authority manifests in various ways, from students abiding by school regulations to employees conforming to corporate rules. While such obedience can contribute to maintaining order and consistency, it's crucial to remember that unquestioned obedience can result in harmful outcomes, as revealed in the Milgram experiment. By gaining an understanding of this psychological phenomenon, we can endeavor to establish a society that prioritizes critical thinking and ethical conduct over blind obedience. Fact number five delves deeper into the concept of social influence. Social influence is an incredibly potent force that greatly shapes our behavior, beliefs, and attitudes. It's the sway that the actions and opinions of others have over us. This influence is powerful enough to lead us towards conformity and groupthink, often suppressing our personal judgments. In the realm of marketing, social influence plays a critical role. Advertisers harness the power of social influence to shape consumer choices. They utilize strategies such as influencer marketing, testimonials, and social proof to persuade consumers to buy their products or services. They understand that people are more likely to make a purchase if they see others endorsing or using the product. Similarly, in politics, social influence is frequently employed. Political campaigns employ social influence strategies to sway voters. Tactics such as bandwagon effect, endorsing a candidate because others do, or testimonials from popular figures are leveraged to impact voter decisions. Thus, social influence is not just a psychological concept, but a tool widely used in marketing and political decision-making processes. Now, let's delve deeper into the intriguing concept of the halo effect. This is our innate tendency to attribute a variety of positive qualities to individuals, based solely the presence of one favorable trait. This psychological phenomenon has the power to mask an individual's flaws in our perception, causing us to see them through rose-tinted glasses. To further illustrate this, let's consider a job interview scenario. A candidate walks into the room exuding an air of confidence, immediately impressing the interviewer. This single trait, confidence, could potentially cause the interviewer to overlook certain shortcomings in the candidate's qualifications or experience, thereby painting an overly positive image of the individual in question. Or let's take the instance of a romantic relationship. If one partner is exceptionally attractive, the other overlook their less appealing behaviors or traits, thanks to the halo effect. This bias can lead to misconceptions and potentially unhealthy relationship dynamics. The halo effect is a potent influencer of first impressions. It plays a significant role in our everyday interactions and judgments, coloring our perception of people and events. It's important to be aware of this bias as it could lead to distorted views and potential misjudgments, reinforcing the importance of a balanced perspective in all our interactions. Fact number seven explores the intriguing phenomenon known as the Dunning-Kruger effect. This psychological bias refers to the paradox where individuals with minimal knowledge or expertise routinely overestimate their capabilities. This overconfidence usually stems from their unawareness of their own deficiencies, leading to inaccurate self-assessments and faulty decision-making. In the realm of self-perception, this effect distorts an individual's self-awareness, creating a false sense of superiority and expertise. The Dunning-Kruger effect also profoundly impacts interactions with others. On one hand, overconfident individuals may inadvertently mislead others about their competencies, resulting in a distorted perception of their abilities. On the other hand, they may reject constructive feedback or advice from more knowledgeable individuals, hampering their own potential for growth and improvement. Consequently, the effect is not only an intriguing psychological phenomenon, but also a significant societal concern in terms of fostering misinformation and impeding personal and professional development. Fact number eight delves into learned helplessness, a psychological phenomenon that presents when recurring adversity leads individuals to develop a feeling of powerlessness and resignation. This feeling can linger even when escape or relief becomes possible. Learned helplessness is often associated with several mental health conditions, such as depression and anxiety. 
When a person repeatedly faces negative situations that they can't control, they may start to feel helpless, believing they have no control over the circumstances, which can exacerbate mental health issues. However, it is crucial to note that this condition is not insurmountable. There are several strategies to overcome learned helplessness, including cognitive behavioral therapy, which focuses on changing negative thought patterns and assertiveness training, which can boost a person's sense of control over their life. Moreover, learning stress management techniques and practicing mindfulness can also help individuals regain control and combat feelings of helplessness. Fact number nine delves deeper into the concept of de-individuation. Within the context of group settings, individuals often lose their sense of self-identity and personal responsibility. This psychological state can lead to impulsive actions and frequently destructive behavior. This phenomenon is prominently observed in mob behavior, where individuals, stripped of personal responsibility, contribute to the collective chaos. The power of such masses often leads to reckless and aggressive actions, which can escalate to violent outcomes. De-individuation also plays a significant role in the realm of the internet. Online, where anonymity is a cloak easily donned, individuals seem to shed their inhibitions. They often engage in offensive language, cyberbullying or even hate speech, protected by the veil of a faceless, nameless avatar. Thus, de-individuation, a phenomenon only amplified in the digital age, continues to hold sway over collective human behavior. Our final fact pertains to a cognitive bias known as the just world fallacy. This psychological phenomenon is our innate bias to believe that the world is inherently just and fair. Consequently, this belief can often make us mistakenly blame victims for their unfortunate circumstances. Let's delve into it using a few examples. Assume you witness someone losing their job. If you're enveloped by the just world fallacy, you may blame the individual for their misfortune believing they must have done something wrong to deserve their predicament. Perhaps they were lazy or incompetent. Similarly, you might see someone living in poverty and assume they must be lazy or lack ambition, disregarding the systemic issues that contribute to poverty. The just world fallacy doesn't just affect our perceptions of individual situations, it can also fuel widespread social inequality. It often leads us to justify the existing social order, validating the privileged and blaming the oppressed. For instance, it can make us believe that the rich are wealthy because they've worked harder or are more intelligent, ignoring factors such as inheritance, luck, and systemic advantages. This psychological bias, therefore, not only can lead to victim blaming, but also perpetuates and justifies social inequality. It's essential to be aware of the just world fallacy and challenge it to promote understanding and empathy. In this journey of exploration, We've uncovered 10 dark psychological facts about human behavior, from the bystander effect and confirmation bias, to cognitive dissonance, obedience to authority, social influence, the halo effect, the Dunning-Kruger effect, learned helplessness, de-individuation, and the just world fallacy. Understanding these aspects of our behavior can help us navigate the complexities of human interaction more effectively. By recognizing these tendencies, we can strive to overcome their influence, and foster a more compassionate and empathetic society. We invite you to take this newfound knowledge and leverage it to question your biases. We urge you to stay informed, remain curious, and always strive for empathy and understanding. By doing this, we can create a society that is not only aware of its faults, but actively works to change them. Thank you for delving into the of the human psyche with us. Knowledge is power, and by shedding light on these dark truths, we empower ourselves to create positive change. So always remember, stay curious, stay informed, and above all, stay compassionate in your interactions with others. Keep questioning, keep learning, and together, we can create a better understanding of the world. Until next time.